speak this speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you. Trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of your players do, I just left the town cry, I had spoke my lines. Nor do not saw the air too much with your hand, thus. But use all gently from the very torrent, tempest, and as I may say, whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that may give it smoothness. Oh, it pains me, it offends me to the soul to hear a robustious periwig painted fellow tear a passion to tatters, to very rags, to split the ears of the groundlings, who for the most part are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. I'd have such a fellow whipped for overdoing termagant. It out Herod's Herod. <laughs> Pray you avoid it. Be not too tame, neither, but let your own discretion be your tutor. Suit the action to the word, the word to the action, with this special observance, that you overstep not the modesty of nature. For anything so overdone is from the purpose of playing whose end both at the first and now was and is to hold as twere the mirror up to nature, to show virtue her own feature, scorn her own image, and the very age and body of the time, his form and pressure. Now this overdone, or come tardy off, though it make the unskilful laugh, I cannot but make the judicious Grieve, the censure of the which one must in your allowance outweigh a whole theatre of others. Oh, I have seen players play and heard others praise, and that highly. Not to speak it profanely, that neither having the accent of Christian nor gait of Christian, pagan nor man, have so strutted and bellowed that I thought some of nature's journeymen had made man and not made him well. They imitated humanity so abominably. <laughs> Reform it altogether. And let those that play your clown speak no more than is set down for them. For there be of them that will themselves laugh, to set on some quantity of barren spectators laugh too. Though in the meantime, some necessary question of the play be then to be considered. That's villainous and shows a most pitiful ambition in the fool that uses it. Go. Make you ready. We're not a one-man band. And we never will be. We never will be. Because you don't get good decisions from a government if all of the decisions are simply made by one person. No one, however smart, however well educated, however experienced, is the suppository of all wisdom. And I believe that we will be a much better government.